most of us have never seen the rainforest. Its beauty and majesty is indescribable. It's impossible to capture on film, to describe in words, or to describe to those who've never had the awe-inspiring experience to stand in the heart of the rainforest. Once covering 16% of the Earth's surface, now they only cover 6%, and experts estimate the last remaining rainforest could be consumed in the next 40 years. Brazil reported that over 5,000 square miles of the Amazon were destroyed last year by deforestation. Environmental damage continues in this largely unseen part of the world. And if current trends continue, we stand to lose a very large percentage of the life forms that share the planet with us. Constant logging, mining and cattle ranching is stripping the jungles clean. Global deforestation creates more carbon emissions than all the industry and all the transport on the planet. Chico Mendes, the Brazilian rubber tapper from the town of Saringal, Santa Fe, who revolutionized the environmentalist movement and brought international attention to the problems within the Amazon. A simple man with a simple task to make the world a better place. Sadly, the problems he faced retaliated and soon, he was murdered by a ranch owner. Years later, a 73-year-old nun lies dead in the dirt of Anapu. Sister Dorothy, or the Angel of the Amazon, who spoke for the peasant farmers and a sustainable lifestyle, was murdered by two gunmen. It became clear that violence intertwined with the fight for the rainforest. Now, there is an alternative to save the rainforest without risking the lives of anyone. It's called Quipo a cause-oriented company that allows individuals to save the rainforest from their computer. Five dollars saves five square meters of the rainforest. It's that simple. Children can smash their piggy banks, teenagers can sacrifice a late night fast food run, and adults can adopt daily if they pleased. It's a movement that involves everyone because it affects everyone. If the rainforest were an hourglass, the last sands of time would be trickling to the bottom, like the billions of trees that tremble the ground each year. If humanity were a season, we would be in an autumn-like stage, and winter is approaching, and sadly, if it arrives, spring will not. The cold truth is that unlike the organic cycle of nature, deforestation is linear, with a man-made product of consequence at the end of the timeline. Without action now, there will be nothing to act upon in the future. Now, we can be like Chico Mendes. Now, we can be like Sister Dorothy. Now. We can plant the seed of change and can save the environment one meter at a time. And we can do it with the click of a button. It's that simple. <laughs>